get that started here. Uh, I might eventually save a copy of this to uh, put on YouTube just so I have it for you know people who uh, you know want to catch it later because I, I think Ustream only saves this stuff for like a month because I'm not you know on their uh, pro thing uh, you know because they've got a pro service that um, you know let's uh, you know let's uh, keep you know your videos you know on Ustream for as long as you want but that's like a hundred bucks a month and I didn't have that much to spend on it when even when I was uh, you know making a you know good amount of money so uh, anyway or what was a good amount of money for me so um, I think what I'm gonna do is you know once I'm actually done recording what I'm gonna record and then actually done broadcasting for the night too I'm gonna uh, download a copy of this and then put it up on YouTube just so that uh, you know, it can be around for you know people who come to it you know more than a month later. But um, anyway, the uh, this has been you know kind of a rough couple of weeks for me. Like you know, if you've been following me uh, you know on my uh, passing thoughts blog and on my uh, you know uh, Mixler show, uh, I've you know, been dealing with the, uh, you know, with uh, car issues, you know, because I, you know, wrecked my old one and then I, you know, pretty much had to go and buy a new one. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's been kind of stressing me out, uh, you know, uh, but I, I think I've got most of that taken care of. Uh, got the check from the, um, from the AAA people because they're gonna they they were good enough to reimburse me for my towing because I have a uh, you know AAA uh, still need to uh, you know deal with um, you know actually getting the uh, you know getting the old you know Ford Escape sold um, gonna need to uh, you know if if the uh, check from the auto recyclers hasn't shown up tomorrow I, I think I'm gonna have to get a hold of them on Monday or Tuesday or whatever well probably gonna have to be Tuesday because Monday's still gonna be a busy day for me because that's one of the other things that's uh, you know on my mind but that's gonna uh, you know come I'm gonna get to that in a minute but uh, see I, I, I sold my uh, you know the escape to a the to a local auto recycler called Nordstrom's, and usually they're you know pretty good business. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a hold of them here. Uh, you know, uh, maybe not tomorrow, but uh, certainly on Monday or Tuesday, because um, I I would think you know from what I understood, they were gonna have the check to me by now. But uh, you know, I was making a deal with them. I had a uh, you know, few things uh, on my mind because you know I was still you know kind of freaking out from uh, you know pretty much wrecking my car and living through it uh, you know and then at the same time uh, you know my dad who's the uh, you know other topic here that I'm going to be getting to in a minute uh, you know he, he's always been you know kind of a pent up fellow um, and he was you know, trying to talk to me while I was on the phone with the, you know, with the uh, guy I was selling the car to. So um, I'm gonna have to, you know, get a hold of him here to, you know, you know, maybe maybe not tomorrow, but uh, you know, early next week to, you know, see what the deal is, because I'm starting to think that, you know, maybe I gave him the wrong address or something, because uh, I was actually very distracted with. Uh, you know, actually more things than I probably should have been given the situation and uh, you know I you know just kind of like to you know figure out what the deal is there and you know get that figured out but uh, you know another thing I've uh, you know kind of had going on here you know because I mentioned my dad uh, he's uh, you know gonna be going in for uh, bypass surgery on uh, on uh, Monday actually which is the day after my birthday and uh, gotta say I'm actually kinda worried about the guy because uh, 
Well, I mean, I mean, I guess the doctors and surgeon, surgeons and everything are saying he's in, you know, great shape for that kind of thing because, well, I mean, he's actually when I say he's a little guy, he he really is. He's, um, well, he's you know only five four like I am, but uh, you know he's getting to that point in you know, in his life where he's uh, you know kind of like uh, his dad, my my grandpa Fat, and we we call him Grandpa Fat, but. Yeah, if uh, you know, there's a guy that if he ever weighed more 135 pounds, he might have looked like he was living up to his name, because you know these are, these are just you know we're you know especially on my dad's side of the family, we're all just you know tiny little people, skinny as hell, you know, and uh, you know my dad uh, you know has been losing weight now he's down to like 120 like 128 pounds or something, you know, so. Uh, it's uh, you know really thin for is thin enough to make me nervous uh, you know about having him you know going under the knife or something quite uh, you know quite that um, you know invasive but it's uh, you know something that needs to be done and I uh, you know I'm glad he's actually doing it now instead of you know because uh, he was gonna he uh, has this uh, big elk hunting trip that he's, uh, you know, still kind of sort of hoping that maybe he might at least get to go and, you know, kind of sort of be a part of as best he can. But uh, he, he was going to wait until after that to have this uh, operation and, you know, between me and, the, you know, uh, my mom and the doctors, or the, 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 um, the, the general doctor guy, um, I guess we talked him into you know getting it, getting it done now because uh, you know it's one of those sooner the better sort of things. I don't want him dropping over from a heart attack out in the hills. You know, much as I much as I know he likes doing that kind of thing, uh, you know, I'd rather not have it go quite that way. So um, you know, I'm glad he's getting this done now. Uh, but uh, you know it's gonna gonna leave him laid up for a while, and uh, well, he's he was always a restless fella, even when he could get up and move around, kind of well. Uh, but it's been getting harder and harder to for him to do that, and I'm hoping this uh, heart surgery he's gonna have done is you know, gonna be something that'll uh, you know fix him right up, so he can actually get out and uh, you know do that kind of thing a little more. Um, so we'll have to uh, get going with that. Uh, and so anyway, uh, but uh, anyway, now that he's uh, you know gonna get that done, he's you know gonna excuse me, um, getting uh, you know. But anyway. Uh, Kind of distracting myself here by uh, replying to a comment on Facebook, uh, but what I'm trying to say is that uh, I'm hoping he's, you know, gonna be able to uh, get better and you know get back to doing all the things he likes doing. And uh, uh, anyway, you know, let's uh, get give him a chance to you know, get back to doing all the things he likes doing and. Um, Hopefully that'll, you know, get him, you know, so he's like not quite as restless as he's been because he's actually been worse, you know, because he hasn't been able to, you know, go do things. But um, hopefully he'll, you know, be able to, you know, get out and do things, and uh, you know, that'll, you know, afterwards, and hopefully that'll get him settled down a little more. But uh, anyway. Um, that that uh, Facebook thing I was doing, I was uh, you know, explaining that the uh, double F in the second post I made was for Final Fantasy, and I'm going to be uh, you know getting getting into talking about that here a little bit too, uh, ten minutes in. But uh, you know, with all with all that uh, other stuff I've had going on, I um, really haven't had a chance to sit down and play uh, lately, which. Um, is probably you know one thing that's uh, you know, got me stressing out because you know uh, just like 
you know, running or uh, getting out and running around is uh, you know stress relief for, uh, relief for my for my dad. Uh, sitting uh, sitting down and uh, you know playing video games is uh, my relief from you know that kind of stress. And uh, well, I I really haven't been uh, you know doing that much lately because I just plain and simply haven't had budget call a lot of time for it. But um, I I'm thinking you know since things are kind of sort of changing, you know, a little bit, you know, coming, becoming a little more normal for me again. I'm thinking that, uh, you know, I'm probably going to finally get back into, you know, you know the old uh, routine I had before things started going all screwy on me. Um, so I'm uh, two-thirds or three-quarters of the way through Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I'm still undecided as to whether or not I'm actually going to finish that one because even though I have, uh, you know, made it farther than I have on any attempt previous, I really got to say it's uh, not exactly been the, uh, you know, most engaging game ever. Um, I think one of the... Uh, well, I know it was one of the last posts I made to that particular text play. Um, I was, you know, saying that it was, you know, that uh, you know, it was reminding me of uh, something that the uh, the professor said in the last history course I took before I actually graduated with my uh, bachelor's degree. Because uh, this was you know, the history of 20th century assassinations, and uh, he was explaining you know, the relationship between World War One and World War Two, because World War One started with, uh, you know, the assassination of Franz, Fer uh, Franz Ferdinand of, uh, I think it was Austria, I'm pretty sure it was Austria, and his explanation for that was, had World War One not happened, it, there would not have been a World War Two, and it wasn't, uh, you know, so much a, a matter of chronology, or it wasn't entirely chronology, it was, you know, because uh, when the Allies won, uh, the Central Powers, and Germany especially, because they're really the only ones that, uh, the only one that uh, survived of the three, or, well, actually, I think it was more than three that were in the Central Powers, but they were the only one that really survived intact, and Basically, what the Allies did is they went into Germany and say, yeah, you know, we pretty much fucked the hell out of you in the war, and now we're going to make you, you know, pay money, too. Which, you know, led to, you know, eventually the Great Depression and the rise of the Nazis and all of that. And, you know, and then from all of that, we got ourselves the fun that was World War Two, And... I, I know that's kind of an extreme thing there, but uh, that's kind of how it was uh, with Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, you know, and I was pretty much explaining it for my uh, mom, who was asking me about Final Fantasy VII. Uh, you know, I was explaining to her that, as I understood it, yeah, Final Fantasy VII was an important game both in the series and in gaming history. But, uh, you know, to me it's overrated because it changed a lot of things and not necessarily for the better. Because, you know, Sony did, you know, whatever, you know, what it had done with the Walkman and, uh, you know, the PlayStation 1, which, um, you know, essentially, you know, uh, took gaming from being, you know, kind of a, you know, big hobby for just like people like me and opened it up to a much bigger audience, uh, you know, and what had been true of gaming in general was especially true of the Final Fantasy series up until that point. Uh, and from there, you know, they put out Final Fantasy VIII because you know, seven, uh, on a global level, because Seven had done actually much better than they had uh, hoped, I'm thinking. 
you know, and from the way I figure it, um, more people than uh, might have considered it before had, uh, you know, wound up buying Final Fantasy VIII on their own and I think kind of got the wrong idea of, excuse me, what uh, longtime fans like me uh, had found appealing about the series. You know, because uh, Final Fantasy VIII was more, you know, a love story, uh, you know, and Squall learning what it was to, you know, grow up and be a lot, you know, be alive and an adult and all that kind of thing. Whereas the first seven really were, you know, you're Sir Knight and you're going to go fight, uh, you know, uh, the big demon chaos or, um, and I, I forget the, um, I actually trying to beat the, the original Final Fantasy 2 now on, uh, on the uh, Origins version. Uh, I, I forget what the uh, Emperor's actual name is, uh, but he's in Castle Pandem Pandemonium and that kind of thing. You know, and so on. You know, and you're fighting, you know, the Shinra Company and all of that, and, uh, you know, and Seven. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. But um, I, I think one thing I might do once I'm done here is I might put in a and try to play a little bit of that, get some of that written up. Or I I think I might have mentioned this some other place too. I'm like right at the very end of Final Fantasy VI on my Super Nintendo. Um, and I'm going to, I might try to make the, you know, my second attempt and hopefully the final attempt at uh, getting that finished so I can at least have one done finally and, uh, you know, get some final thoughts out on something, you know, just so I can say, you know, hey, you know, I'm finishing something, I'm getting something done, you know, because I have beaten this game before and, uh, yeah, I, I just need to remember how I did it and, you know, maybe get written get it written down just so I can, you know, kind of remember it for next time. But, uh, and I'm trying to think of, of the last time I actually beat Final Fantasy VI, and that may actually have been when I was in college, which is, well, I mean, I, I graduated from high school in 1996, uh... So it's been, well, not quite 20 years, I think, since the last time I actually beat Final Fantasy VI, but even though it's not been 20 years, it's been probably more than 15 anyway, because I, I don't think I've uh, you know actually managed to finish it since then, but... Uh, you know, I, I'd like to you know, at least get that done, have that finished. Um, but anyway, that's that's kind of where I am with all the uh, games and stuff right now. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, part of the reason I'm kind of putting this off and putting it off and all of that is, um, you know, all, all the stress of the first things I you know, talked about in the first 10 minutes of the show here um, are, uh, you know, kind of, you know, getting me all, you know, fucked in the head right now. And I'm having trouble figuring out just what the hell I want to do. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to get all that figured out. Uh, kind of take a swig of coffee here because, uh, you know, I'm not used to jabbering on like this for quite so long, getting a sore throat. But, uh, anyway, yeah, you know, I am having... Uh, you know, a little more trouble than usual, uh, you know, figuring out just what the what the hell I'm trying to do here, because, uh, well, I, I, I know I need to get something done here, but, uh, you know, I'm not entirely sure what I need to, or, you know, what, what exactly that's supposed to be. I, I know I need to do something, uh, you know, and maybe making progress on some of these little side projects that I've got going will, uh, 
you know, actually inspire me to keep going on the things I actually need to get, uh, that I actually do need to get done, like, um, say, finding an actual job, you know, or, you know, a, another, another job, because I, I do have a job that um, I at least kind of like to stay with, if possible, but, uh, you know, that's, you know, I'm going to maybe talk a little more about that once I'm actually done recording, but, uh, you know, because I, I do have a few things I, you know, like to, you know, say about that, too, but uh, they're not necessarily things I, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're not necessarily things that I'm going to be dumb enough to record myself, so, uh, anyway, uh, you know, I need to, you know, get to work on getting this car stuff taken care of, and I'd like to, you know, at least get one more text play issue out for either Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy VIII before, you know, I uh, have to, you know, actually do wind up taking care of, uh, you know, my dear old dad and all that kind of stuff, because he's definitely going to be needing, you know, help with things, because, uh, yeah, because this is actual open heart surgery, and they're gonna, you know, pretty much crack open his chest cage to, or his rib cage to, you know, get out what they need to get out. And, you know, hopefully this will, you know, get him back to, uh, you know, whatever he needs to, or uh, you know, back to kind of, kind of his old self. But. Um, Anyway, I, I think I've uh, pretty much covered all of the stuff I want to cover for the uh, recorded uh, portion of tonight's show. So, um, you know, for those of you watching uh, recorded, uh, I'm going to, you know, pretty much end this here. Uh, probably going to be on live for a while after, and, like not recording. So, uh, I mean, I, I see I've got one viewer here, so, uh, you know, stick around. I, I will be here, uh, you know, uh, live, and I've got, because the thing is, when I stop recording, there's, like, stuff I've got to, you know, set up and, uh, you know, get all taken care of, and then and I'm going to stop talking for a minute, but, uh, the, well, you know, once I get all the recording stuff taken care of, I'll be back, but uh, anyway, if you're, uh, you know, watching uh, recorded um, I will you know probably catch you uh, hopefully Tuesday uh, you know on uh, my Mixler show um, and hopefully I'll have some good updates for you by then uh, you know hopefully good news but uh, anyway uh, if you're watching recorded uh, you know I'll you know, be blabbering at you to, uh, Tuesday on Mixler uh, and if you're watching live uh, you know stick around I'll uh, you know, be with you in a, a couple of minutes with some, you know, live comments on things and stuff. So, uh, anyway, I'll see you uh, shortly.